In this video, we're going to learn how to import a remote CSV file into Airtable. To do that, we're going to use the Data Fetcher app for Airtable. So the first thing you need to do is go to the Airtable app marketplace and install Data Fetcher. Data Fetcher is a free app that lets us run API requests as well as connect to all sorts of different applications. So once the app is installed, you either need to sign up for a free Data Fetcher account or sign into your existing one. Once you've signed up, click on create your first request. And then for the application, select custom. And then enter the URL for the remote CSV file that you want to use. So rather than uploading a file from our computer, I'm assuming you'll want to use a file that's stored somewhere else on a remote server. So we're going to use a CSV file from the UK government. Uh, it's like an open data set. And you can see that that's stored on in an Amazon S3 bucket um, on a remote server. Then add a name for your request, like fetch CSV. Set the output table and view to where you want to import the CSV file to and click save and run. You can toggle this to hide the warning in the future that it's going to update our output table. And then the response field mapping is going to open. So this is where we can select the fields from our um, CSV file and how they map to the fields in our output table. And you can see we've got the different fields and then the different records of data. And all of these by default are set to be imported. So we can toggle fields off if we don't want them. And then we can also set whether they should map to new fields. So this is going to create the fields when we run it or existing fields. We can scroll across and see the other fields. So for this job title field, I'm going to change it from creating a new field, which is the default, to using the existing name field. And for all the others, I'm going to leave them as creating new fields. Um, I can also change the type here. So I'm going to change the type of field that this creates um, to a currency field. And then finally, once I'm happy, I'm going to click Save and Run. And you can see Data Fetcher is going to create the new fields that it needs to create and then run the request again and import the CSV data into Airtable. So you can toggle this to hide this warning again in future and click show output table. And we can see that all of our data has been imported from the remote CSV file into Airtable. Finally, if you want to schedule this request, you'll need to upgrade to a paid data fetcher account and then you can set the schedule here. Once you've done that, Click Save and Data Fetch will automatically import the data on the schedule that you've set. 